Hello everyone. Today I'm going to explain the fourth problem of Ed Kohler Beginner Contest 281, which is max multiple. So what is the problem? The problem is we have uh, an array of n integers, and uh, let's say the array of n integers is a 1 to a n, and we are also given another two integers k and d. So uh, <clears throat> like the um, uh, we have to find the sum of subsequence. Like there could be 2 to the power n number of subsequence and we have to find the number of subsequence of length k. So the number of subsequence of length k will be nck. Uh, um, among these nck subsequences, we have to find uh, the sum uh, which is multiple of d and which is maximum. So there are nck subsequence, let's call it as a set. So s will contain s1 to s of nck and from this uh, nck elements we have to find the number uh, the subset where si should be divisible by d si modulo d will be equal to zero and uh, we have to find maximum of those si's maximum of si such that uh, si modulo d equals to zero that is the desired equation so now uh, let's jump into the observations part so what is the first observation the first observation you can make is that uh, the constants so what are the constants constant is uh, n is 100 k is 100 d is 100 but ai is 10 to the 9 so the first approach which uh, may come into our mind is that constructing all the sum of subsets problems so sum of subsets and sum of our subset it is uh, order of n uh, into um, sum order of n into sum uh, for finding sum of all the subsets. Now, if we want to find the uh, subsets whose sum is uh, uh, subsets with length, then uh, the, uh, the uh, equation, the time complexity will be order of n into k into sum. So, what will be our parameters? Our first parameter will be uh, dp, first parameter will be obviously index, the second parameter will be our sum, and the third parameter will be uh, the number of elements. So, let's call it number of elements. So these are the three parameters if we consider this way. So order of n into k into sum. But as ai is uh, ai is uh, approximately 10 to the power 9, so this approach will fail. So now uh, let's uh, think about some other uh, observations. So first observation is that uh, we can make is that let's say we have any element ai. So ai could be expressed as ai modulo d plus d into ai by d this is integer division so we can express this as ai modulo d plus d into ai by d so now if we consider only these elements if we consider only these elements the maximum value of this will be d minus 1 because it will range from 0 to d minus 1 so now this will be one integer so now if we do this same approach order of n into k into sum approach but instead of sum uh, for considering sum, we will just consider ai modulo d instead of the entire ai. So, uh, okay, I hope you got it. So, uh, what will be our parameters? The parameters of the dp will be, the first one will be uh, recurrence. So, first one will be index. The second one will be the number of elements taken. So, let's consider it as uh, what we can consider. It. Let's call it taken. So, taken will uh, mark the number of elements already taken i is the index taken and this is the sum so we will call it as uh, remain uh, remainder sum because we are just considering modulo d so what does uh, this signify rake of i comma taken comma uh, remain remaining sum so it will signify is that <coughs> so it will signify the value of this sum of these values a i by t okay so uh, when, when we are doing sum of subsets we just mark it as one if the uh, array is present or uh, su subsequent is present or uh, zero if the subsequent is not present but here instead of this boolean values we will just use uh, the sum of this value ai by t so this will uh, be just uh, sum of ai by t okay sum of ai by d which are already taken okay i hope you got it so there are three parameters let me tell you again the first parameter is index the second parameter is the number of elements taken third parameter is the rem remainder sum remainder sum is nothing but the sum of this ai modulo d value which are already taken so let's consider this there are uh, taken is in a set so a set s will contain s1 
is two two is of taken and uh, we will just consider the uh, sum of is one modulo d here as remaining sum and at the end we will just do remaining modulo d okay i hope you got it and for uh, what will be the value of this value of this recursion recurrence the value of this recurrence will be nothing but the sum of s1 by d okay i hope you got it so now uh, let's jump into the solution so what is the solution here i have already told you uh, the first parameter is i the second parameter is remaining sum or you can just shuffle it uh, first can take the number of taken elements as the second parameter and it, this is the remaining sum so now if the number of this is the base case if the number of elements taken is equals to k then we will just return if remain uh, remaining sum equals to zero so we have to find the maximum okay so let me explain that also so let me explain that also so we have what we have to find we have to find the maximum of uh, sum which is uh, divisible by d okay so if our taken elements is equals to k so we have a set of taken elements k and if our remaining sum equals to equals to zero then uh, we have some value i have already told you we have some value of recurrence of i taken comma ai by d sorry i taken comma remaining now if this re, uh, uh, remainder value is zero then we will just do let's say this value is uh, let's call it as answer so our final answer will be answer into d so our final answer will be answer into d okay i hope you got it because the remaining sum is zero and we are just considering the summation of ai by d here as answer so summation of ai by d is the answer and as the remainder is zero and after we get this we will just multiply it by d okay i hope you got it that's uh, what i have done so now if the if the remainder is zero then only we consider this subsequence as a uh, part of our answer if remainder is not zero we are just returning a negative infinity now if it is i equals to equals to n and taken is less than k because this case is already considered above that so if i equals to equals to n and the number of elements taken is less than k we just return the negative infinity now this is the memorization part i hope you all know that now here it is nothing but uh, maximum break of i plus one comma rem comma taken. So this is the recurrence. First one is that we have not taken the element, so the value of taken will not increase, and the remainder uh, remaining sum will also not change. Remainder sum. Now uh, if we have taken it, so the remainder sum will be re remain uh, remainder sum plus ai modulo d. I have already told you, and uh, this is uh, this is nothing but rem of uh, rem plus ai by d. So this is something interesting. So what I am considering it as ai by d. So now we have also remainder. So uh, we'll just add remainder plus ai by d. So we'll just consider remainder plus ai by d. And similarly, remainder plus AI modulo D will be our new remainder. Okay. So the first one is, uh, okay, I hope you got it. So we consider this and our new remainder will be remainder plus AI modulo D. Uh, and at the rate we are returning DP I remainder comma taken. Okay. So at the end, we have to do something else also. So we are considering rec recurrence of 0, 0, 0 or base case. Neither of the elements are taken. Our index is 0 and the remainder is also 0. Now, if the uh, uh, if there is no uh, subsequence of length k whose sum is divisible by d, then our uh, um, answer will be close to minus infinity. So that's what I have done here. If p less than 0, we have to print minus 1. Uh, you can observe here. So if p less than 0, we are just doing p equals to minus 1. Else we are multiplying it by d. That's what I have explained here. We have to multiply the, uh, the resultant with d. I hope you got it. If you still have uh, any doubt in any part of the video, please ask me in the comment section. I will try to uh, explain each and every doubt. Uh, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.